Well, hello to all my wonderful YouTube fans. How are you today? Well, thank you for tuning in today's vlog. If you're wondering what I'm doing today, I'm going to show you how to connect your iPod Nano 3rd generation uh, device to a Bluetooth speaker without using Bluetooth technology by only using the headphone jack on the bottom of my player by the auxiliary cable right here. Okay, back 10 years ago, you didn't have Bluetooth back 10 years ago. And it was very hard to actually connect this device to a Bluetooth enabled device like this. Okay? But on the back of this, you can kind of see the different inputs what I can actually use. But this is a good device to listen to your very old iPod Nano. Let's go ahead and show you how it hooks up and let's uh, test it. And let's play a little bit of music uh, for you can listen to your 10 year old iPod. Alright, once you got everything uh, turned on here, and you're going to say, how can you connect it without Bluetooth? Well, it's very simple and it's very easy to do. You just need this style of cable with two. Uh, Headphone jacks, uh, middle jack seal. And you plug it directly into the back of your Bluetooth uh, enabled speaker here. But you can't use Bluetooth uh, with the auxiliary in. And we're going to connect it with my iPod. You know, you can see. This is what I'm listening to right now. This is my very old iPad. And we'll look on the back of it. It is 8 gigabytes of storage. My very first iPad. And it looks pretty good too. And I really like listening to my music from my iPod to my speaker. And I know everybody's gonna say I don't like wireless. Well, Back 10 years ago, you didn't have Bluetooth devices back 10 years ago when everything was being made. If you want, you can use a iPod Touch or your iPhone if you choose. If you don't like the wireless heel, but that's basically up to you. And I will show you that as well. You're going to say to me, why use a wire instead of wireless Bluetooth technology. Well, let me kind of explain. First of all, you would have to charge your iPod Touch and you would have to charge your wireless Bluetooth speaker. And by the way, what do I mean about that? That means taking a charging cable, micro uh, mini, and charging the battery in this portable uh, speaker. Now, because this is only one wire, that doesn't bug me a whole lot, but some people might say I don't want to use wireless at all. Well, here's an on option for you. I have my iPod Touch 5th generation 64GB of storage connected wireless by Bluetooth on the unit itself. And enter my password and let's just go and play a song here. So you can see if it works. Let's see. Looks pretty good, but it's only limited to how feet you walk away from the unit itself. And the unit will uh, turn off if you walk away uh, from the unit itself. Bluetooth is only a short distance from the device itself. But I kind of shown you how to hook up your very old school iPod Nano and also your iPod Touch to your Bluetooth speaker. But, there you go.
Alright, well, you can basically connect anything you want to this portable wireless Bluetooth speaker itself. Like M3 players, iPods, iPhones, iPads, uh, tape players, or even old-fashioned CD players. I used to have a CD player back in the day, okay, but I no longer use a CD player anymore because my iPhone and my iPod Touch can basically store all of my music, like these devices here, iPod Nano, iPod Touch, and also my iPhone as well. And you're going to say, oh wow, what is a CD player? Well, a CD player is a cheap option, and it's a cheap thing you can afford to buy instead of spending a lot of money on one of these devices here. But remember, you can only play one CD at a time, and this does not hold any type of media. Basically, this is just a CD player, well, that's about it. This is what I used to use a long time ago as well. But, after all, growing up a little bit, get my own different devices like these, I now can store basically all my music on all my own devices. But, basically, that's how you can connect anything you want to a Bluetooth cell enabled speaker, but with using the auxiliary jack. But to all right, tips, if you guys are very new to this channel, please hit that subscribe button, leave a comment down below, please like, please share, peace out, bye guys and girls, we'll hopefully see you in the next vlog.